Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be planning the first week of January as far as our budget is concerned. So, as you can see in front of me, I have an Erin Condren notebook. And um, this notebook I got solely for weekly budgeting. So I'm really excited about it. Um, all they had was the eight and a half by 11 size. So this thing is seriously monstrous. Um, as you can see, just the size difference between the seven by nine monthly planner and the eight and a half by 11 notebook. This thing's huge, but the good news is I will never run out of space in this thing. So I have decided because I use so many of my notes pages in the back here for other trackers and things like that. And I knew I wanted to keep like my sinking funds, uh, my monthly budget, my weekly check-in page, and then my sinking funds in the deluxe monthly planner, I decided to get a completely separate notebook for the weekly budget. Now for next year in 2020, what I may do is just add um, some note pages to the back here. I think you can add up to like 80 pages, maybe more than that, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so that is essentially what I've decided to do for the year 2019. So I got the matching cover. You guys, I am seriously kind of obsessed with this combination, the rose gold and the like navy. I don't know what it is, but I am completely smitten with <laughs> this combination right now. And I would like to thank you guys so very much for using my referral link for Erin Condren. As you may know from watching my previous videos, if you want to receive a $10 off coupon for Erin Condren, you can use my referral link. And when you use that referral link, Erin Condren also gives me a credit that I can use for shopping. And that is how I was able to get this notebook. So thank you so very much, you guys, for using that referral link. And you know, if you are interested in purchasing anything, um, definitely use that to save yourself some money. So let's go ahead and crack this baby open. I'm going to use this page here for our first weekly budget. I'm not planning on using any stickers or anything. Um, and just to show you guys, this is the, the front of the notebook. And this thing is seriously so gigantic. Um, but yeah, I'm not planning on using any stickers or anything for the notebook. This is purely just going to be to track our weekly budget. I do have some dividers, so I might um, like divide the weeks up. I, I don't know. I haven't decided yet, like use the dividers basically to mark the month that the weeks fall in. But really, that would be kind of like it would only be two pages per divider. So maybe not. I probably won't do that. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this. Um, and you know what I might do? I might just use the dividers to separate 2019 from 2020 because if I still have pages in this, I might as well use this for 2022. Okay, just thinking out loud. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is at the very top, we're going to write, and maybe I will use some like little like asterisks or something just to mark the top here. So maybe I'll just use this little circle like I do, like I did in my um, 2018 Deluxe Monthly. So this is for week one. Week one budget. And this is for um, January 4th through the 10th and we're going to list our expenses out first and foremost let me just zoom you guys in a little bit I had a comment about my writing being kind of small so I want to make sure you guys can see everything okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little chunk of this week out to put towards our February mortgage we are paid one month ahead on our mortgage and we like to keep it that way. So what we essentially do is we just take a little chunk out of each paycheck and put it towards the next month's mortgage and then that way it's all paid and ready to go by the time the last paycheck of the month hits. So, um, and then we've got iCloud storage. We have our monthly groceries.
our weekly groceries. We have our household. We have our gas and car washes. We have family fun. And then we have Andrew's pocket money. We have my pocket money. And then we have Maddie's money, which is her commission that she earns for doing chores around the house. We're putting money into our sinking funds from this paycheck. And then we have an unbudgeted. So nothing going to debt this paycheck, but that will be coming next paycheck, which is really exciting. I'm excited to finally start putting money to debt again. <laughs> It'll be really cool. So now we're just going to draw a little line and make a table. So I like to put a check mark just to mark that it's been paid. And then we will mark the due date. For each item, we'll put the budgeted amount for each item. Let's put budgeted, got plenty of room, so might as well. <laughs> And we'll do the actual amount. And we'll do our over and under. Okay, and then I'm just gonna draw lines under here. And we'll draw a line under here. You might hear my little one. She is having a rough day. For some reason, she's been waking up super early in the morning. <laughs> so, um, okay, so the due date for our February mortgage is obviously the 1st of February. iCloud storage is coming out on the 6th. And then our monthly, pretty much all the rest of this is coming out um, today when I'm filming. This is the 4th of January. You guys are seeing this on the 5th of January. But um, in all these categories, except for the gas and car washes and the sinking funds are cash envelope categories. And you guys will see my cash envelope video um, tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And I do a little bit more explaining of this monthly grocery and weekly grocery. I know you guys are probably like, what is that? Because that has not been in our budget before. But I will explain this a little bit more tomorrow. In a nutshell though, we're meal planning and grocery shopping for an entire month's worth of groceries and um, meals and things like that. We've done that in the past and it's pretty awesome. It's a lot of work on the front end, but it saves a ton of time in the long run because um, you're not meal planning and grocery shopping like for a whole week like we'll still go gro to the grocery store um, every week for produce but we won't have to meal plan for the week um, we won't have to get other things outside of produce so it'll be really quick grocery um, trip grocery trips <laughs> and things like that um, we did bump up our grocery budget a little bit not by like a whole ton but I've mentioned this before, we're really focusing a lot on our nutrition in the year 2019. We're gonna be eating a lot more fish, a lot more seafood, um, you know, things like MCT oil and avocados and things that just kind of cost a little bit more. So that is essentially why we've decided to increase our budget. Um, you guys will see our 2019 annual budget, which doesn't really have these updates actually in it because I filmed that before we made this decision 
but essentially you'll see from there that we will definitely still be able to accomplish our goal of becoming debt free, starting our emergency fund and also um, starting our sinking funds and everything. Um, even with an increased grocery budget. So you have to do what works for you. I know grocery budgets can be very personal. Um, some people feel like this is way too much. Some people might think that it's not enough. We're a family of three. We live in Arizona and we're you know trying to have a very healthy, um, healthy fats and fish and things like that type of diet. And so it's gonna take some experimenting and things like that, of course, but um, yeah, that's essentially all I have to say about that. <laughs> if you have any questions though, definitely leave them down below for me. Um, and I will be posting our monthly meal plan and monthly grocery haul for you guys. So stay tuned for that as well. Um, okay. And then household and car washes, all of this is coming out of the paycheck that hit today. We'll just fill that in really quick. And unbudgeted does not have a due date. And then as far as the budgeted amounts for each item, so for our February mortgage, that is $295.42. And that's not our whole mortgage. Remember, that's just a portion of it. So we take a little chunk out of each paycheck and then we add it all up and pay our whole mortgage at the end of the month before the next month begins. So, um, and then we've got iCloud storage, which is 325. Our monthly grocery budget is $500. Our weekly grocery budget is $50 and that will cover produce and then any like, oops, I forgot this, or we ran out of bread or we ran out of milk or eggs, you know, the common things you run out of all the time. So. That's what that's for. Um, household, I am taking out in a lump sum from now on. So we did budget, we were budgeting $15 per week and they were like, well, let's maybe bump it up to 25 per week because we realized that the 15 per week wasn't really enough after we went through our house and did an inventory and just realized like, okay, we need to increase this. But then I realized that we get a lot of our household products from Costco. Like today, for example, I'm about to go grocery shopping with Maddie and we have to get Kleenex and paper towels from Costco. And then we've got to get a couple other little things from the other grocery store. And that is definitely gonna be more than $25. So I decided at the beginning of the month, I'll just take out the full $100 and that will take care of everything. And then hopefully we have some left over just in case we need something else later on in the month. So that's how that's gonna work. Um, and then gas and car washes is just a total of 220 for the entire month and that just stays in our checking account. And this will cover like Phillips for our gas for our cars as well as a couple car washes for each car. Family fun is $30 per week. And we use Family Fun not just for eating out. We buy board games with it. We save it and go to like the aquarium or we go to the movies. Um, we don't have a separate eating out budget. If we decide to eat out, it comes out of this Family Fun budget. So that's what works best for us. And then for pocket money, we're doing $20 each and Maddie's commission is $20, and that's for the entire month of January. I take out $20 in singles, and she can earn up to $5 per week. She has to save 25% of what she earns, and then she can keep 75% of what she earns. For our sinking funds, we're putting $400, which is not the total amount. We have to split it up. We're putting a total of $919 into our sinking funds this month, but I'm putting a portion of it into um, the, we use a second checking account for our sinking funds. So I'm putting a portion of it in there. And then of course we don't budget for unbudgeted items. And then if you add all of this up, our total spending for the first week of January should be right around 1,600 $58.67. So there you have it, you guys. Um, that is our week one budget for January 2019. I'm really excited to have this notebook. I've got like tons of space in here. Like you can see, I still got tons of space 
down here. I'm able to break out everything the way I want to. I'm a very like detailed type A type of person. So let me zoom you back out a little bit. So I really like being able to like be very meticulous <laughs> when it comes to tracking this kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, that is the way I'm going to be doing our weekly budgets in the month of, or in the year of 2019. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell notification button to catch all of my future videos. And if you have any questions, comments at all, leave those down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I will chat with y'all later. Bye. Do you want to say bye? Bye. You're going to stick your hand in her. <laughs> Got to move further over this way. There you go. Bye. Can <laughs> <laughs> you do that again? Do you want to do it again? Yeah. Okay. Do it again. Hello, guys. Welcome back. And um, what are you doing? And uh, uh. Go over here. Go over where Mommy's hand um, is. Bye. <laughs> And hello, and then... You want to show them your pretty nails? That we painted? Oh, they're kind of chipping. We have to paint them again. You ready to go shopping? Yeah, well, I don't want to go shopping yet. Oh, okay. You want to keep saying hello? Yeah, hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye, guys. <laughs>